Well, here we go. I'm finally doing it. A solo hike. I haven't done a solo hike like this in many years. We'll see, uh, see how the legs do. We'll see how the sleeping goes. I counted my pillows on my bed this morning before I left. Six pillows. I'm used to sleeping in a cloud. So can I still sleep on the hard ground and have enough energy to go cross-country hiking the next day? Well, there's only one way to find out. Man, even in a burn area, the flowers can be beautiful. about halfway in. Legs are doing good. My pack is feeling better than I thought. And a rest stop like this doesn't hurt. Wow, we got views everywhere. Broken top, South Sister poking out. Okay, looks like we left the burn area behind. Now we're in the nice shady cool forest. It's that lovely smell of hot sun on the pine needles. I think we got about 600 vertical yet to go up this ridge. And once we get on top of the ridge, I think we're less than a mile from Golden Lake. Looking forward to that. All right, I think we're at the turn off. To Golden Lake, there, there's supposed to be a cairn here, I thought. That's the main trail, but this must be the way to Golden Lake. Only one way to find out. Water. Water. All right, camp is set up. Not a bad view. 
from my tent, I would say. Check out this campsite. Right near the lake. That's my view. Can you hear the waterfall? It's going to lull me to sleep tonight. Got my food up. It's protected from tiny short bears, at least. Well, I'm trying a new diet. I'm trying calorie dense food only. So I've got no camp kitchen on this trip. No backpacking dinners. Salami, hard cheese, trail mix, and a couple goodies. That's about it. Delicious. Well, I'm headed off trail. I'm going to some no-name lakes I saw on a satellite photo. Somewhere over here. I hope it will give me great views of Broken Top. Might have to cross some snow, looks like. Oh, man. Well, that was worth it. Jeez. Beautiful. This lake deserves a name. All this beautiful heather. Wow. Unnamed Lake 2. Lake 3. Golden Lake. There's my camp. Right in those trees. Quite a view. Lake 4 is just full of tadpoles. And is about dried up. There's not much left. Getting to those lakes took a little bit more out of me than I was expecting, so I'm not sure about getting to my second objective of the day. That green ridge right there is where Carver Lake is, behind that ridge in a valley. And it's three and a half miles, 1200 vertical, all off trail all on loose pumice and steep rock from here. 
and I just don't know whether I got it in me today. But I can get part way, so let's see how far we get. Well, these boulders are coming from way up top. This is my turnaround. I'm not crossing this. Plus, I've already climbed out of all the wildflowers, and it's nothing but cobbles and loose rock. The next 500 vertical to get around that pass and go beyond there to get to the, the lake. So I'm not doing that. But this has been so beautiful to get this far on the alpine slopes of South Sister. I really admire those people on the alone show. They're out there alone for so long, it's hard. You miss your wife, you miss your family, there's no one to talk to. But all I have to do is tap out by pushing a button. I could go home in one hour. I think I'm gonna do it, yep. I'm going to stay here the whole time. Seems weird to be going to bed while it's still light out, but I'm getting up before dawn for one last photo shoot tomorrow. Well, I'm sad to leave Golden Lake. It was so beautiful. I just hope my pictures came out because I was having all kinds of issues with my photography equipment. Well, we'll see when we get home. Goodbye, Golden Lake.